Now, LaGuardia Airport carried around 30 million passengers in 2016, making the airport similar in size to Philadelphia International Airport. However, their route map doesn't look the same. There appears to be no long-haul flights out of LaGuardia versus many long-haul routes from Philadelphia. So the question that needs to be posed is, why is this the case? Surely both airports have similar demand, right? Well, the reason is that flights from LaGuardia can fly no more than 1500 miles from the airport due to the perimeter rule, which was set in the 1950s. Now before you go, I've got to make this video longer, so bear with me and I'll explain why you probably want LaGuardia to host long haul flights. Now the perimeter rule was established in the 1950s at 2000 miles, but it was later reduced to 1500 miles in 1984. However, it didn't apply to Saturday flights and flights to Denver which is over the perimeter and this rule is still in effect today. Now it was put in place to force travellers to use John F. Kennedy International Airport to boost their early growth. However, many people are saying that there's no need for this rule anymore. Allowing long haul flights out of LaGuardia would benefit travellers by giving them lower fares and more choice to destinations on the west coast, the Caribbean and Europe. Now barriers to competition like the perimeter rule hurts their consumers. When a similar restriction placed on Dallas Love Field was removed in 2004, fares reduced on flights in and out of the city as a result of competition between Southwest at Love Field and American Airlines at Dallas Fort Worth. Now removal of the perimeter rule at LaGuardia would ignite a competition between Delta at LaGuardia and United at Newark. However, surprisingly, United and JetBlue, who both have a big presence at Kennedy, have expressed support in favour of keeping the perimeter rule. So, if you've ever been to LaGuardia, you'll know that it's not a great place to travel to. This is partly due to low demand for the airport from airlines as a result of the perimeter rule, resulting in less money going into the airport. Now, the governor, Andrew Cuomo, has announced plans to rebuild the airport, scheduled to take two years from now, costing $4 billion. Now guys, do you think this will be a worthwhile investment if the perimeter rule doesn't get revoked? Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you liked the video, feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope to see you in the next one.